Sometimes time seems to stand still in Dusseldorf and at the Drupa at the Mainz Gutenberg Museum stand. A journey through 600 years of printing history that not only illustrates the beginnings of printing to international guests, but also portrays the enormous effort that went into creating literary works. A printer had to be strong. A frail man could not be a printer. You can see with the wooden press how much strength is required and sometimes they printed in tandem. One took over coloring and the other did the printing and then they switched. It was bodybuilding at its finest. From paper production to the printing press to bound books, the effort to produce a book was immense. For comparison, Johannes Gutenberg, the inventor of printing, needed all of three years to print 180 editions of the Bible. Today, a less laborious copy is comparatively cheap, but an order of this size still costs around 1,600 euros. There are indeed all kinds of natural materials involved. We have water, we have paper, we have plant fibers, we have metals, we have wood, we have leather. It's all a very hands-on, sensual matter. This aspect is of course missing with a large digital printing machine. Johannes Gutenberg would have been amazed if he could see how his invention has developed. For example, this offset press prints up to 18,000 sheets per hour. At 2,500 sheets per hour, this world debut is considerably slower, but thanks to digital technology, more flexible. Each page can be individually designed and printed. We want more more. The demand is for more individualized and personalized copies, making cosmetics or pharmaceuticals for a large market in large numbers, but due to legal requirements or for marketing reasons, you need a version for a small country. The label needs to look exactly the same but have a different language. This is the stomping ground for digital presses. This is the tunnel field for digital drug machine. The interest for such digital machines seems to exist. The integration with the Internet and flexible applications are among the top issues at the Drupa. A trend that even Johannes Gutenberg might have guessed in the mid-15th century. He designed each of the 180 issues of the Bible individually and according to personal taste of the future owner.